what's going on everybody welcome for the first time we're back to another DLJ works video what we're going to talk about in this video is we're going to be we're going to be talking about assets all right what are actual assets in uscreen.tv this is a feature that I actually came across as well when I was working with something like Weebly all right the same feature is also available in Weebly but you may not actually know what you're actually supposed to do with assets here on actually uscreen.tv so let's go ahead and let's get started right into this in order to get to assets what we first need to do is we need to get into customization and here in this part where we're actually in the process of selecting a theme or whatever have you you should already have a theme selected by now if you can actually click right here underneath advanced okay you can actually see that the image is just uh, taking a little bit of time to actually load up over there if you go to advanced you can see that you have code editor code snippets and assets so if I go to assets here <coughs> you can see that I can upload any sort of image or any other asset type and link them via the code editor and styles and colors so this is going to be more of a developer function but you can also use this if you're just trying to DIY muscle your <laughs> muscle your way doing this DIY without any developer help without hiring any external people to help you with your platform then I'm going to this is what this video is for to help you out with that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to upload an image alright and I'm gonna show you exactly like how this is going to be used because you may be wondering well y'all should be able to just upload this directly within the theme itself and that's not always the case that here it is this is what I'm looking for okay that's what I wanted to upload okay All right, so now I have the Chicago pick, and I also have this one. Now, now I'm gonna copy the this one right here. All right, so now I already have this copy. But also, if you don't feel comfortable with that, then I'm gonna do this the old school way. I'm gonna right click here. I'm gonna go back to customization. Let's go back to customize our theme. <clears throat> Wait for this to load up now that I'm here again let's go ahead and let's go to all platforms alright and we can see that this is highlighted but what I'm gonna do I wanna actually up, open this up in a separate tab so I'm gonna right click and open this up in a separate tab because I'm going to show you the other method if you're trying to like I said DIY this and you're not a developer so I'm gonna give you the other method that the hack method in order to do something like this so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to now click on these three dots. I'm going to go to more tools and I'm going to go to developer tools. All right. So now I'm going to click on the actual element I want to highlight here. Now, um, if you're or if you if you're just trying to find shortcuts in terms of just messing with the code, you have no coding experience. This is why I'm actually making these videos, but I want to I want to caution you that you have to be very careful if you do not know what you're doing, you do not know what you're looking for, <coughs> excuse me, because you can actually do something that's going to offset your website in a way that you're not going to know how to fix. Fortunately, with the developer tools, this provides a little sandbox, a little playground where you can make adjustments to your code. And if you mess up something, all you need to do is just refresh the page. That's, that's all you need to do if you're working in the developer tools. All right. It's not that way if you're actually going into your code, though, you need to be very careful. But you should play around in the developer tools to see if you'll get the results that you want. Fortunately, we're only messing with the CSS. All right, so I want to highlight the section part, even though you can click on your elements, but you need to pay attention to because if you notice this color coded, because each color is highlight is highlighting a different element. All right, so if I click here, all right, I'm going to be messing around with this section and inside of this section is going to have the container and everything else but I think what I'm gonna do right here is I'm going to let's see here how much of that is okay I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to adjust this section this HTML piece right here all right because it's highlighting if I click on the actual section uh, overall all right that's going to highlight the entire thing rather than just a piece of the section so let's go ahead and let's go over here to that and that pulls up our CSS so now the background color is white but what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to make this an image 
all right and url i'm gonna put two quotation marks and now i'm gonna hit control v all right okay and we need to adjust the size of it with the images there it looks blue but we need to adjust the size of this right now all right so now that we actually sat up here and we added our image we have to make some size adjustments now you may not if you're not familiar with css you wouldn't know to actually type in background size 100 percent 100 percent that is going to be a developer thing a css specialist thing which is something that i know so you can actually just utilize this video and see that that's how you can actually make the entire image fit the that section the size dimensions of that section's background all right um so what we want to do next is because we're going to just play around with this so you see that the image the link that i copied from the asset section i placed here so now what we want to do next is we want to go ahead and we want to highlight all of this uh oh that's not what i wanted to do it keeps doing that because of the background image okay but we want to highlight all of this all right and i'm going to hit control or command c and or i'm going to now i can right click and i can just hit copy because i have all of this highlighted all right i'm not going to get rid of this i'm not going to close this out yet because we want to make sure that this actually added to where we needed it to now i'm going to go back here i'm going to go to customization now i'm going to go to code editor because this is css you don't want to make you want to make sure you're not adding the code to the wrong section this is CSS that we're messing with because we're messing around with the style. All right. And I'm going to just paste this. I'm going to enter down and I'm going to just paste this. I'm going to hit command V or control V as in Victor. And I'm going to hit save changes. Okay. And now I'm going to close this out. Now the ultimate test is, is when I refresh this page here it should still be there and it is okay and we can see that it went through the whole entire section so the reason that you see this gif right here is because this gif is actually here based on a course that i actually did which the link is in the description box below for you to learn how to actually set up your U screen platform as seamless and as effortlessly and as painlessly as possible so if you want to check this out on how i did this make sure to check out that course and link is going to be in the description for that but yeah we can actually see though this is what you use assets for though so things that you cannot do uh images that you cannot add and you can actually see that it's still white here on this background but if i hit refresh all right you can actually see that it's now there and because the screen is shrinks down the guy's gonna be a little bit more behind the screen but the wider it is then the more he's not behind the screen as well this screen right here all right, so this is what you use assets for. And to prove my point, <coughs> let me go back to all platforms. Let's click here. And you can see there's no area where you can actually add, all right, you cannot actually add the background image to this. All these things right here are to link for the Android, the little icons that you see down rotating here. This is what these are for. All right, you can actually hide these if you want to. So if I click hide uh, iPhone, the iPhone icon won't show up here anymore. So, so when you came, when there's something that you cannot add, an image, a GIF, a video background, whatever you're trying to actually create and do, you can actually put that in the asset section of your theme. All right, let me go back. You can actually put that here in the asset section of your theme. And you can store it within uscreen's database so that is going to be one purpose right now that you can actually utilize the assets for because you want to be able to pull this from a path that's like very local that's, that's as close to you as possible trying to not just make this as technical speak as, as much as i can but you, you don't want to go to a different website to pull an image out you want to have an image you want to be able to upload it into your assets folder and you want to be able to utilize that image or video file whatever file you're trying to do and make it available you may be also able to utilize and upload like pdfs and things like that if you want to be able to put and, and have people download those pdfs um, onto your 
your thing but these things are going to have to be coded in by a developer or if you're trying to muscle your way through this and DIY it on your own then you can do the research and, and figure that out as well but that's going to be it for this video to try to introduce you to what assets are and give you one example um, make sure that you leave a comment below if you have any questions to talk more about this and I'll be more than happy to clear this up if you're looking for help uh, my I have my charges and I have my price listings in terms of what you need a consultation if you need me to try to help you set up some things that's something that we can negotiate and talk about as well dlj works out thank you again for watching i'll see y'all in the next video god bless you the U screen quick start course is now available for 24.99 this course is going to take you for all the way from the beginning of the introduction to uploading content creating collections all the way down to setting up and finalizing your payments and selecting your merchant accounts. Many people do not know where to start with Uscreen, even though Uscreen makes things very easy, but there are still questions. There's still a process that people aren't really sure in terms of what they need to do to make sure they can make this process as seamless as possible. And Uscreen does a great job in providing resources, but this course is going to streamline all of that and take you from A to Z so you don't have to have so many questions and doubts and going through the trial and error of setting up your platform. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them at dljworksforyou at gmail.com. And also leave me a review if you are finding this content to be super helpful so that way we can get it out to more people who also can also use this course as well.